Hey guys, Rooker Bros, and welcome to my Game of Thrones review for episode 3 of season 6. And yes, I'm sorry this wasn't up yesterday. It should have been up yesterday, but I completely lost track of time. Um, this is slipped my mind. I'm completely sorry, but. Hey, a day late, but it's at least it's up. At least it's up. So. What happened in episode three? Well, we saw Danny again after an episode where she wasn't in. And she wasn't in home, but she was in this one, and she met up. She was playing with the other widows of deceased cows. So, I'll see. I'm guessing she's gonna be in there for an episode or two before. Her Drogo comes in and saves her ass. Or, maybe her other two dragons come in and save her. And she's like, wait, what's that change you two up? And then she realizes someone released them. And then when she gets back, she asks, who released the dragons? That's something they could do. That's actually, you know, I, I know Drogo is in the era. But it would be cooler the other two dragons, whose names are escaping me right now, um, I'll think of them. <laughs> but it'd be cooler if they flew in, burn all every he, some bitch, it got Danny out of that situation and flew her back, back to Marine. Or just flew her straight to Westeros, burn all that shit, and make her queen. Now, just, just the thought. Just the thought. You know, you don't need ships. If you have dragons, you can fly on. Grant, the dragons can't carry off all of the unself. He didn't all of Danny's he's, uh, people. But here's a hint. Here's a here's a here's a thought. Get on your dragons. Fly over. Take Westeros, you know, use the dragons, burn everyone, and when you're her queen, you send the fleet of ships that serve under the crown over to the marine to get the people who, who, who are supporting you. Problem solved. Everyone's happy. Danny is where she belongs on the throne. And everyone we hate in King's Landing is dead. So, you know, just, 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 just a thought. Just a thought. But hopefully we'll see where that goes. And, yeah. Arya did some more faceless training. And she got her sight back. Cool. Cool. So that's solid episode so far. Er, this has probably been the best season to be a Stark. Unless your name is Rickon. Because he got a gifted to Ramsay's E. Bolton. He did. Yeah, he, he, he's gonna die. Ramsay's gonna keep him alive until he's not useful anymore. But. Poor, poor Rickon. He is going to be dead by the time that Jon Snow or Sansa even think to check to see if he's at Winterfell. But it reminds he sends Jon Snow a letter or whatever he does. Is, is Rickon will probably be dead. So yeah, that's that's disappointing, and he's probably gonna kill. Um, Jojen? No, no, not Jojen. What's that wildling who was with Brown and Rickon and then Hodor before they ran into the Reed children? 
her name? I can't remember her name. Asha? I don't know. I can't. Look, I don't remember or or their a character's name unless they're important. So, sorry. So yeah, they're probably both going to die. E, her sooner than Rickon, because Rickon's gonna be semi useful to Ramsey. E, but after he has a bit of fun with her, she will be dead, and she's probably one of the uh, fleet people we see in the pro we saw in the promos. So yeah, that's not exactly a good future for her. Um, what else happened? Oh yeah, the, uh, Jamie is looking forward to the, the trial by combat of Cersei when she goes up against the Ice Sparrow. Oh, and they have, and she has the mountain. Hmm? Now, there's a, uh, popular theory amongst the Game of Thrones fans called Clegane where the mountain fights the hound. Now we think the hound is dead, so I'm not sure how he would fight the mountain if he is dead, and even if he isn't dead, I'm still gonna back the mountain. I mean the hound is good, but he lost to Brian. And the mountain would probably be Brian. And Brian is badass. So, yeah. Just saying. Just saying. I can't see. He, even if he is coming back from the dead, uh, he's just gonna die again. Ah, well. You win some, you lose some. And you lose some heads. Because that's, that's, that's what the mountain likes to do. He, he likes to destroy people's heads. Like he did with, uh... Over and, and that guy who was talking about Cersei. About flashing Cersei. In the uh, first episode. Yeah, what a dumbass he was. I mean, no wait, that was the last episode, not the first episode. Yeah, he shouldn't open his mouth and his head got crushed. What are you going to do? Sorry. Um, so that's pretty much everything except two major plot points, and that is we finally find out who has been sending the sons of the harp harpy he after her Danny and co and what happened at the wall but since you know oh wait Bran Bran I almost forgot you oh you were slaying me if I didn't talk about the infamous Tower of Joy he he we saw Cool sword fight. Yeah, yeah. Ned Stark lucky to survive with his life. Bran almost didn't exist because Bran wasn't born until after that. So, yeah, that was a close one. <laughs> when Bran gets back, I hope he goes straight out, 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 and, and thanks me. Uh, uh. Uh, and her whole family for his very existence. Just, just a thought, Brian. Just a thought. Because yeah, if her father hadn't stepped in, Ned would have died several years before he was supposed to, and you wouldn't exist. Just say. So. Uh, 
does this mean Helen Reed, who is Mira as far as he know? The big Tower of Joy secret conspiracy idea thing? If so, did he tell Joe's Nana -na -na Mira? Will Bran ever find out what was in the tower? It was almost like the ending of seven. What's in the tower? Ah. Uh, just a little different. A little different. But pretty much, Bran was keen on finding out what was in the tower. And the Three Eye Raven's like, nope. <laughs> You ain't find out what's in that tower. You you, you don't want to know. I'm guessing he'll find out eventually, but it's not looking like that's gonna happen anytime soon. Anyway, over in Marine, Lord Varys. I don't. I suppose he's not Lord Varys anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, Varys, through his little birds, found out that the Sons of the Harpy are being funded via uh, all the other cities that Danny has pissed off. The Masters in Yunkai, the, uh, the Masters in... Pretty much all the Masters in Slaver's Bay. So, yeah. And Tyrion's like, right, we're gonna have a little chat with them via little birds. So Varys is sending off his little birds to get a message to the Masters of Slavery Bay. And it's gonna be interesting to see what comes of this. Maybe we'll see someone get burned by a dragon. Just, I mean, just, I mean, we haven't seen someone be burned by a dragon since that. I back in the in the in the city where back where uh, they got the unsullied. Not since him have we seen someone burned by these guys. So let's 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 have some let's have them burn some more of Danny's enemies. What's the point of having dragons if you don't have them burn your enemies? If I had dragons, I'd have them burning all my enemies every single day until oh, I had no enemies left. That's the key factor of having a dragon. And then he has three. He. He. So, yeah, just, just, just a, just a little, you know, suggestion. Have Danny's dragons burn our fucking enemies. So, she has less enemies, and we see some be bitches be burnt. And then have them fly over and burn the likes of Waller Frey, Ramsey Bolton, Cersei, he, everyone we don't like. Just have them burn everyone that we don't like. Don't have to worry about the traitors at, at the wall though, because Jon Snow got rid of those bastards. And I do mean bastards. As to... Her Thorn and Ollie. Ah, the most satisfying death since fucking asshole King Joffrey. Lil fucking Ollie finally is dead. 
Well, I would have preferred to see John just take off their heads. You know, we have swing a long claw, just take all their heads off, clean off one and swoop. That would have been badass. You know, make Johnny more badass than he already is. You know, the fucker came back from the dead. And, but, you know, that would have been cool. Oh. Tell me that would not have been cool to see John just one swipe taking off four people's heads. And four? There were more than that? Where the fuck is everybody else? Hello? John, do you not remember there was about 20 guys who stabbed you, not four? Or did I imagine everyone else was standing there or, or, and stabbing you? So, maybe John did lose some of his memory because he seems to only think it was four stabs. Now, maybe it was more than four. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. I have to go back and watch that. But I'm pretty sure it was more than four. Just saying. But yeah, Ollie, everyone we didn't like, everyone who stabbed Jon Snow, got what they deserved. Women cooler to see Jon take off their heads, but hanging, I, I guess, I guess hanging in your enemies is it is just as good. So, that was episode 3, Oathbreaker. And it's one of the only episodes where the word was not said. Unless I completely missed it. They didn't say it. But what Jon Snow did say is that his watch has ended. Shit is getting real. Oh, where is Jon Snow going to go? Is he going to go back to Winterfell? Is he going to cross the Narrow Sea you know, with his sister? We'll see. We'll see. Wait, no, not his sister. If he's this is a Rhaegar, he'd be Danny's nephew. Wouldn't he? Because Rhaegar was Danny's brother, her other brother, or not the one who got gold thrown over his head. I'm sure they'll figure it. I'm sure they'll explain it more in the next episode, but Oathbreaker, Solid, and Jon Snow is no longer Er 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 Her Man of the Night Watch. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe for more videos very, very soon. Leave your comments in the comment section below what you thought of episode three. And until next time I hope you all are very a nice day. Peace.